day 12 of 31 days on how to radically change your prayer life. Hi, this is Pastor Ed Taylor from Faith and Victory Church, and I wanted to give you a quote from E.M. Bounds. He said that the story of every great Christian achievement is the history of answered prayer. How appropriate that quote is today is I'm sitting here in the battle for the Guilford Courthouse National Military Park, where one of the most decisive battles was fought during the Revolutionary War. You know, Jesus said that if we ask for things from him as a child is asking for bread, it's important for us to do that. When we ask with a child's expectancy, when we ask knowing that God will do what he said in his word he'll do, and we have that childlike trust, when we expect him to do what he said he would do, then we can go far in prayer. We know this, that when Jesus quoted that in Luke chapter 11, he said this, that if a child asks you for bread, will a father give him a scorpion? We know that if we ask according to God's will, if we ask according to God's word, just like a child is asking his father for bread, the father will give you exactly what you ask for. He won't substitute with something bad. He won't bring bad things into your life. He'll bring you good. He'll give you what you ask for in prayer. So history teaches us that if we ask God according to his word, he does what he said he would do. So today, we're going to be like children asking our fathers for bread and expecting God to give us the answer that we ask for. Join us tomorrow for day 13. And until then, pray like a child asking for bread.